Hello, marketing research students. It's Dr. G. Today, we are going to talk about descriptive statistics and particularly how you can take your Qualtrics survey data that you are have been working on and create a report or create some visualizations of that data to put into your overall marketing research report. So let's get started. The first thing that I want you to do is to log into Qualtrics and make sure that you are at the home screen as we have right here. What I want you to see is on the home screen, you're gonna have this area here that's called pin widgets to customer home pages. Now you're gonna see your surveys right here. I'm gonna select Lonely Ghost, which was a survey that one of my students did last semester. And once you click on that, you'll see that you've got a nice uh, visualization here of a default report that pops up. You can create a new report if you want, but let's just stay with the default report. What I like about this is it gives you all of the information for each question that you have, and Qualtrix will suggest a visual visualization for you. So you'll notice here that each of your questions and all of the results are over here on the left navigation. And if you want to customize the pages, you can do so. What we're going to do here now is I want to just show you kind of how you can navigate through and change the look and feel of this particular report. So here we have the first question. How familiar are you with the clothing company Lonely Ghost? So you can see here that they have uh, the responses, which is not at all familiar to extremely familiar, a five point Likert scale. And you can see underneath here, they have the statistics chart. So you can see what the mean is. The mean was 3.14, a little bit higher than average people uh, were familiar with. And then it will also give you a count. So 235 students answered that question. It also provides you a nice layout here or distribution of the answer choices. So you had 22%, uh, almost 23% say they're very familiar with it of this particular target audience. And you can see there the 235 responses. So what I wanna show you here is you can certainly take these charts and graphs and put them in your research report as you are describing descriptive statistics. If you prefer to look at a different type of analysis, you can click right on the visualization of the chart here and you'll see that Qualtrics allows you to create a variety of different charts. Maybe you wanna view it as a bar chart instead of a pie chart. And here it will allow you to even go through and change the colors if you want. Maybe you're a, you want to make it green, or you want to make it red, completely up to you, however you want to do that. Um, so let's say you want to instead show it in a breakdown bar. And this will give you a breakdown bar, which is a nice distribution as well to be able to see uh, how your respondents are, are doing. So that was question number one. So you can do that with any of these charts and graphs that uh, Qualtrics has provided to you. Now I wanna show you this. They also did a open-ended question. Why, why do you or would you purchase from Lonely Ghost? So that was a good qualitative open-ended question here. Why do, you, why do you or would you purchase from Lonely Ghost? Um, and so these are verbatim answers. And you can see there's a lot of them there. You can look at all the answers if you want. You can download them. But what I want to show you here is you can click on that visualization. And here Qualtrics gives you an option of a paginated table, which means a shortened table, just like you're looking at here or you can complete a word cloud. The word cloud is going to take the most frequently suggested or, or responded words and put them into a nice visual here for you. So you can see here, brand was one of the largest uh, verbatims that came across in the words, purchase, designs, there's some things here, stolen, that's interesting, trendy, vibe, ah, uh, wouldn't. So you can make your own inferences here. If you want to reduce the number of words, uh, you can do that. If you want to make it a little bit larger, 
But again, this is a great way for you to be able to display and then describe to the reader what the sentiment is for long ago based on that particular question. So again, go through here and just decide how do you want to uh, be able to display this data that's most meaningful. Maybe, yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you're looking at frequencies of data. So I want to show you this pie chart again. So let's say I want to do a pie chart. What it automatically does is it creates a donut chart for you. Well, I'm not a fan of donuts while well, I am eating them, but certainly not in my research report. So what you can do is you can take this bar here and move it and create a pie chart if you want. You can change the colors, you can remove the visualization and just show the statistics if you want. But this is a good way for you to visualize your data and be able to transport that into your into your research report that you're writing. So here I want to show you up in the upper right hand navigation, we have the share report button. Click on that. And what I love about this is you can download a PDF of everything you've just done. You can also create a Word doc. I'm going to do that because I like to be able to copy and paste images out of Word and place it in my report. But you can do just one question if you want, all the questions. Try to select only those that makes meaningful sense to you. So I'm going to, um, there's a bunch of data in the what, what state you're from. That's really not meaningful for me in my research report. So I'm going to unclick that so I don't have to look at it. And then you can export it. When you export it, you'll see here, it's going to just download it into your download folder on your computer. If you're on a Microsoft product like I am, it's gonna pop up here. When it is done, actually, you gotta click on that to download it onto your download block. Why? What would be wrong? Huh. Anyways, it doesn't like that download, but I downloaded it before. So uh, once it's downloaded, you can see that up and find it in your download folder and you can open it up. Once it's opened up, you can save this document, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it uh, Marketing Research Report. You can change anything in here as you could, as you would like. Um, get rid of any of the boxes you don't want. You can save this and add it to your research report or add it in as evidence that you're referring to. Or let's say, for example, you're writing about um, the results. Maybe I just want to click on copying this and, as, uh, and then paste it into whatever document you're writing your report on. So that's a quick and easy way to take your survey data out of Qualtrics, you don't have to throw it into Excel. You don't have to visualize it in another program. Qualtrics will do that for you. And it's super simple and easy. So that's today descriptive statistics in Qualtrics. And what I want you to know is we're also going to be learning how to do correlation and regression in class on uh, the same results that you have from your Qualtrics file. And we'll be able to analyze that data as well. So take care everybody and happy number crunching.